Hello again. I am Simone from Goodway Solar Academy. My last video is about SAMS in which I introduced how to create a plant and how to manage multiple plants. And in this video, we will continue and learn how to monitor energy storage plants on SAMS. The ultimate concern is always, does our energy storage plant work as expected? To figure this out, we have three questions to answer. Question number one, is our energy storage plant generating? There are several ways to find out. From operation status tab, we know from the pointer that this plant is generating at power 3.965 kW, and the battery is charging but not full yet. When we move down to power tab, we can get all kinds of curves including that of plant generating power, load consumption power, and battery charging or discharging power at different time of a day and of the passing days. In our part of the same page, there is energy flow chart, PV energy, battery, node, and the grid. The direction of arrow indicates the direction of energy flow. At this moment, PV energy is used to supply the household node and to charge the battery. In addition to plant level monitoring, device level monitoring is also available. To access to the performance of individual indicator in this plant, we can click on Curve and view its curves of generating power and generation graphs as well. The data can be exported and saved. If we have many plants to monitor, sure, we can just use fault function to find out the plants with different operation status. Question number two. How much energy have our plant produced? There are four different boxes from which we can note day's generation and accumulative generation of this plant and the profit it would bring to us. Sure, you can select different currencies such as dollar, RMB, euro to display. More details can be found at generation and income tab here. From the bar graphs, we can get the generation of this plant day by day, month by month, year by year, or just in a certain range of time. Based on these graphs and data, we can do a comparative analysis on the plant performance. Alternatively, but more simply, the curve of income demonstrates the performance trend of this plant. What is this energy statistics tab for? It is not enough to just know how much energy this plant has produced. It is more important that we know the household node consumption and PV generation and that they are in good balance. From PV generation pi, we can know the ratio of selling and self-consumption of PV energy. And from consumption of node pi, we can know the ratio of node consumption from the grid and from PV energy. With energy statistics, we can either improve our energy storage system design or make some changes to our energy consumption habits. Reports about this plant and its performance can support us to understand better if we just click on reports and learn more. Question number three. My plant seems underperforming. How should I diagnose it? Enter alarm system. All alarms related to the plant are arranged by priority or current status. We can filter these faults by preference. We can follow certain type of faults if they concern us most. Details of faults and troubleshooting advice can help us monitor system health in a better way. By the way, there is an accident function for energy storage system, remote control, but this function is only available on SAMS portal app. Shall we introduce this app in the next video? Welcome to comment here. Please do let us know if you have any question after watching this video. See you next time.